One of the things that's very important in Java is how you classify data. That's because Java is strictly typed. The first type of data we're going to learn about are strings. A string is a series of characters strung together, and the series is indicated by a set of two quotation marks, an open and a close. Here's an example string. You may be familiar with this one. This string includes letters, a space, and even a punctuation mark, but it's all okay. It's still a string. This is also a string. This can have numbers. There's lots of different characters that you can include in a string, and it's all okay as long as it's between those two quotation marks. Now, not everything's okay in strings. For example, you can't have multiple lines. If you hit enter while you're typing your string, the Java compiler is going to get very confused, and it will do its best to tell you what it recognizes as a string, typically by highlighting it as a different color. So whenever that color goes away, you know something's broken in your string. There's also a very small set of special characters that all can break a string. These special characters require something in front of them so that the string will work properly. Let's imagine you wanted a string with a quotation mark in the middle of it. Since the quotation mark is a special character in Java to indicate the end of a string, if you want to say, put it in the middle of a string, Java does not know what you're doing. It is going to try and end the string, and then there's some letters afterwards, and it doesn't know what to do with it. In order to tell Java, hey, I didn't mean this quotation mark to end my string, I meant, hey, add this in my string, you can use something called an escape sequence. An escape sequence is a special thing that tells the Java compiler, hey, I just meant for this character to just be this character. Shouldn't do anything special. Here's the different escape sequences. Now, you can see there's the quotation mark one. There's also the backslash. The backslash is another special character in Java, so you can't just put it in the middle of a string. It's going to mess things up. But the backslash is itself the escape sequence character. So as long as you put the backslash in front of the quotation mark or in front of the backslash, they'll print as if that escape sequence wasn't even there. Also, I lied before. You can have multi-line strings. You just can't do it by hitting enter. You do so by adding a backslash and then an N, and that will translate into a carriage return or like hitting enter on your keyboard in the middle of a string. You can do the same thing with the backslash T. That adds a tab. This is called a println. A println is how you give output to the console. It requires the words system.out.println, and then we pronounce it println. Then you have a set of parentheses, and then inside the parentheses, the string you want to put out to the console. And because it's a string, you need to put it in between quotation marks. So this example println is going to print out your string here. Let's look at this code. As you can see, I have three separate println's. Now, the cool thing about the println is that what it does is it produces your string, and then it's like it hits enter at the very end, and it starts a new line. So the results of this code is this output, where you have those three strings all on three separate lines. This is an empty println. It's exactly the same as before, but there is nothing in between those parentheses. This is going to produce an empty line. Here's that same code from before, but we added some empty println's in between. So when we run it, now we have some spaces between our lines. There's also something called a print statement, no lin. This means, hey, just take my text and put it right on the console. Don't hit enter at the end. So if we take our code from before and we get rid of the ln at the end, so it's just system.out.print, we just get a single line of text. It's all kind of mushed together. 
It also doesn't look very nice because there's no space between the statements. Sometimes you're gonna have to plan ahead how your print lens are gonna produce your content. So to fix this, if we just add a space in our string when we run it, now we have all of our statements nicely aligned all on the same line. Print statements are gonna be the main way that you take what you're doing and put it out to the user. They're extremely useful. You're gonna use them for debugging, you're gonna use them to see what your code is doing, so they're a very important skill to master now.